Hello everyone and welcome to Biscuits, the place where we explore all things biscuits. I just want to take a moment and say I'm sorry I haven't posted on here in a while. Summer has really made it difficult to film YouTube videos. My main channel has taken a hit as well and I apologize for that. Uh, my little guy, both of them are home all the time with friends over constantly, friends from the neighborhood next door. And so it's really hard to film when I have kids just everywhere. I know other moms out there who do YouTube manage to do it somehow. I'm not sure. Somebody give me some tips because <laughs> I feel like anytime I try to film, I've got a kid either under tow or staring at me or trying to be on camera with me. <laughs> but thankfully they're back to school starting today. So hopefully I can get things back on track. So today for biscuits, I'm going to be doing a chicken and a biscuit pot pie recipe for you guys. This is super easy to do. It's a delicious lunch or dinner. Today we're having it for lunch, leftovers for dinner. And let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I did was I took three boneless skinless chicken breasts and I baked them in my oven for 40 minutes. You wanna cook your chicken until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. If you don't have a kitchen thermometer, just wait until you just want to cook it until it's completely uh, white inside. There's no more pink and make sure all the juices coming out are clear. So I'm going to go ahead and take mine and start cutting it up. You can, of course, use a knife and a cutting board if you want to. But I always feel like cutting my meat with scissors, especially when I'm just needing rough chunks of meat. It doesn't need to look any in particular way. I feel like this is just such an easier way to do it. Just hack it all up real quick. So I did season my chicken with a little bit of garlic pepper and uh, with a little bit of garlic and pepper seasoning. There's salt in this as well. You can get the spice from Dollar Tree. It's got all three seasonings in it, garlic, pepper, and salt. It's like a three in one, which is fantastic. And then I also put some parsley on top. Now that I've got all of my chicken chunked up into bite-sized pieces, we're ready to move on to the next step. I do wanna throw out though, if you would rather use uh, chicken thighs, Feel free if you got a rotisserie chicken on hand that you need to shut up, you can use that. Or even canned chicken will do the same thing. To this, we're gonna add one bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I get mine from Walmart for right about a dollar, so super cheap. To this mixture, we're gonna need two cans of cream of chicken soup. If you'd rather sub it out for cream of mushroom, feel free, you can do that as well. Cream of whatever you choose to use. Even cream of potato would probably work, even though there's nothing else potato in here, but it would probably do the same thing. Don't shy away from dented cans either. I saved some money and got mine for 34 cents. <laughs> I always advocate to use what you have on hand and save money where you can. To this, we're gonna add a splash of milk. That's something you can easily eyeball. The point of that is to kind of uh, water down the condensed soup a little bit. To this, we're gonna add our spices. So I've got a little bit of paprika. And again, this is something I just eyeball for flavor. What I found when it comes to eyeballing spices, a lot of the times is if you have a nice layer across the top of whatever you're making, you're probably pretty good. So paprika, I'm gonna go a little light handed on because I do enjoy it, but I don't want like a ton of it. I don't want this to be like a spicy dish. There's a little, little something in there, you know? So that was our garlic, pepper, salt. And I got some minced onions. If you would like to use a raw onion and chop it up and throw it in, by all means, I would say half of an onion would probably do you. I don't like big bites of onion even when they're cooked. So I like the minced onion. It gives me great onion flavor, but it's so tiny that I don't have to crunch on it. And we're also gonna do some parsley flakes and some basil. Rosemary and thyme are also fantastic in a pot pie if you have them on hand. I'm out, so I won't be using them, but if you want to, feel free. Now we're just gonna take it all and mix it together. Okay, and then to a baking pan, whatever size you feel like using, this one is a this one is a nine by thirteen. We're just gonna give it a good coating. 
some non-stick spray and then layer our filling inside. And if you use a rubber spatula, it'll help you really get just about everything out. And we just push it all around, make sure it's all evenly put into the pan. Okay guys, we are getting to the end of it. Now we're just gonna take our can of pre-made biscuit dough. There's that satisfying pop. So we're just gonna layer this on the top. Now of course, if you want to make homemade biscuit dough um, or batter even, you just either spoon it right on top. You don't even gotta make perfect biscuit shapes. You just spoon it in like a drop biscuit. Or you could go all the way and actually make it look like this. Whatever you prefer. Um, I'm looking for an easy dish. So I'm just using the pre-made biscuits. Delicious and simple. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in for 20 minutes and then we should be ready to have lunch. Okay guys, fresh out of the oven, there's our delicious and easy chicken and a biscuit pot pie. I do believe it could probably go another five minutes, but I know my husband likes biscuits and such when they're a little doughy on the inside. So I'm pulling mine out now right at the 20 minute mark, but everything's fully cooked, bubbling and hot, ready to go. And there we have it everyone. Our chicken and a biscuit pot pie is hot and right out of the oven, ready to go for our lunch. It looks delicious. Mine baked for right at 20 minutes. I believe it could go an extra five or so, but my husband likes things a little doughy on the inside, so I'm gonna pull it out anyways. It's getting a nice golden crust on top of my biscuits. The uh, filling is bubbling and delicious and hot. So we're gonna call this good. If you guys are new here, I hope you decide to take the time to check out my channel, see if there's anything else you'd like to watch. Hopefully you subscribe, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I just appreciate the engagement. Don't forget to check out my main channel. Go have a look at it, We're wherever it's at, I'm not sure. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you guys in my next video.